Hey viewers, everyone knows how important it is to be healthy through exercising and eating healthy food. But most times we're not listening to our bodies. It speaks to us most of the time, sounding alarm to tip us off of an impending danger. In today's video, we'll be looking at the 15 signs your body is trying to warn you. What does sudden unexplained weight loss mean? Why is difficulty swallowing a problem? Is constant bloating and indigestion bad? Is leg swelling normal? We'll be discussing all this and more in today's video. Number one, chest pain. Chest pain could be from a number of different factors, ranging from muscle soreness to a heart attack. It is best to monitor the severity of the pain as well as how quickly the pain sets in. If the pain is severe and sudden, then you need to get medical help immediately. Long-term help, no matter how severe, could be an indicator of a heart disease. Chest pain is not something you should ignore until it goes away. If it persists for more than a day, then you should definitely go see your doctor. Number 2. Abdominal pain Abdominal pain similar to chest pain can be from different causes which makes it very tricky. It could mean something as harmless as an upset stomach after a certain meal. However, the character of the pain could indicate the severe undergoing pathology. For example, a pain that waxes and wanes could indicate certain conditions such as an intestinal obstruction, gall stones or even kidney stones. Pain at the upper part of the abdomen that is burning in nature and worse on taking certain foods like carbonated drink and peppery food could indicate a peptic ulcer disease. A sudden onset pain that is severe and persists could signify a rupture of an abdominal organ such as intestinal obstruction, ruptured appendix or even an ovarian cyst accident. Door aching pain can be from inflammatory bowel disease. 3. Sudden unexplained weight loss Why losing weight and shedding a few pounds is exciting? This should happen through a deliberate and consistent effort. Unexplained weight loss over a very short period of time is a pointer that everything is not alright with your body. It could be anything from cancer, thyroid issues, diabetes or even a chronic inflammatory condition. Hey, I'm not trying to scare you but if you see yourself losing weight over a very short period of time without a deliberate effort then you definitely want to go see your doctor. Most cancers cause rapid weight loss due to a substance they release into the body. This substance will cause a breakdown of tissues and fat, making the person more lean and wasted. The growing tumor will increase the amount of energy expended at rest, so the person will burn more calories leading to weight loss. Excessive thyroid function can also secrete too much hormones, which will increase the metabolism of tissues all over the body, and the end result will be an excessive weight loss. There will also be accompanying symptoms such as excessive eating, sweating, awareness of heartbeat, and even anxiety. Diabetes is also another cause of weight loss. The body is unable to utilize the glucose from diet, so it turns to fat and protein, resulting in weight loss. Chronic inflammatory conditions such as arthritis also cause weight loss by increasing the metabolism of the body. 4. Fatigue or weakness Fatigue results from a wide variety of conditions. Sometimes, as harmless as a lack of sleep or rest can evoke mild forms of fatigue. This will last only for a short period of time, provided the sleep schedule eventually goes back to normal. If you are fatigued and no amount of rest can help, then it could be a sign of a serious illness, like heart failure. Heart failure results when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to the body metabolism. Also, low blood levels. Low blood levels will make little blood available to deliver oxygen to tissues for metabolism, and this would all lead to fatigue and weakness. 5. Shortness of breath Shortness of breath usually follows strenuous activities like exercising, and this is perfectly normal. But long lasting shortness of breath, such as after climbing a flight of stairs, could mean heart failure. Other conditions like asthma, low blood levels, blood clots, and even anxiety would also all result in shortness of breath. 6. Difficulty swallowing Swallowing shouldn't be difficult, and once it becomes difficult, either to solid, liquid, or both, it could be a sign of an undergoing pathology. Conditions like esophageal cancer can lead to difficulty swallowing. The cancer will block the opening where food should pass and there is resistance to the passage of food. Gastroesophageal reflux disease is also another cause. It causes stricture, reducing the lumen available for food to pass through. Other causes include stroke. Difficulty swallowing will typically present a sensation of food stuck in the throat or chest after eating. 7. Ankle or leg swelling The leg or ankle can swell following an injury which is usually one-sided. Swelling on both legs can be from less worrying causes such as sitting in a place for a long time, example taking a flight, or from more severe causes such as heart failure, liver disease, or even a kidney disease. 8. Skin discoloration The skin is a mirror into the body. It tells you what is going on well before it becomes very severe. Change in skin color can be a signal to internal body disease. For example, yellowing of the skin or eyes could signify a liver disease. Also, other things can appear on the skin showing you what's going on within the body. For example, xanthomas. These are fatty yellowish lesions that appear on the skin, example over joints or tendon and may indicate high lipid levels such as cholesterol. 
9. Unexplained rash or growth on the skin. An unusual rash that appears on the skin could represent some sort of internal issues or infection. Rash can occur after taking a new drug. New growth on the skin could be a telltale sign of a skin cancer. This occurs due to exposure to UV light. So skin cancer appears first on some exposed areas such as the face, the arms, ears and hands. While it occurs more in light skinned individuals, it can affect anyone regardless of your skin color. The earliest signs of skin cancers include rash and irregular parts that may even bleed. 10. Breast changes The breast changes in size depending on your menstrual cycle or in pregnancy where it grows larger in size to support and feed the child. But changes in the size of the breast for no apparent reason should prompt you to see a doctor examine your breast every month at best three to five days after your period starts if you feel lumps then you should see a doctor don't panic it could be nothing serious but cancer is definitely something to rule out and finding it out on time is also a good plus other breast changes to watch out for include an orange peel appearance of the breast dimpling of the skin of the breast nipple retractions and bloody nipple discharge 11 bloating Bloating is such a common symptom. Do you usually feel bloated? Bloating can occur when you take certain food that causes flatulence. It could mean that such food lacks growth friendly bacteria. Women usually feel bloated very close to their menstruation. Bloating can be a symptom of ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is usually difficult to pick at its early stage due to the location of ovary in the body and also lack of a screening test. However, in addition to this, there are also other signs to look out for, such as feeling full after taking just a very little meal. It's a sign to go see a doctor as soon as possible. Also, an urgent need to urinate can also be a sign of ovarian cancer. This could be seen in other conditions such as urinary tract infections and kidney problems. 12. Persistent fever. When the body is fighting infection, it raises the body temperature to make it uncomfortable for the organism. This is how you get a fever. Usually, there will be accompanying symptoms showing the system harboring the infection. For example, coughing and chest pain could signify a pneumonia. Diarrhea and abdominal pain could mean gastroenteritis. However, having a persistent fever with no other than fibro cause could be a sign of a chronic inflammatory condition such as cancer or even the body fighting its own cells. 13. Persistent cough. Cough is a protective mechanism of the body to rid the airway of things causing irritation and preventing it from moving downwards to cause infection. It is a reflex mechanism and should only be for a short period of time. Persistent coughing over 3 to 4 weeks could indicate a serious problem in the lung, such as tuberculosis. This is an airborne infection gotten by inhalation of respiratory droplets, which will settle and grow in the lungs. The other accompanying symptoms to watch out for include nice sweats, especially when other persons sleeping in the same condition are sweating and also weight loss. Other conditions that can cause persistent cough include lung cancer. This can present with a persistent cough and other accompanying features will include weight loss and coughing out blood. 14. Sudden or sudden ability to use a part of the body. The brain is the center of coordination of all the body activity. Cutting out blood supply by any mechanism will result in sudden onset of symptoms such as sudden onset weakness or numbness on one side of the body, sudden speech difficulty, sudden difficulty seen in one or both eyes, or even severe headaches. This can occur but resolve within 24 hours, in which case is a transient ischemic attack, but if left untreated, it can progress to stroke. 15. Passing for me urine. The kidney helps filter blood every 40 minutes and the waste product is passed out as urine. Urine has an amber color and the color depends on how hydrated the person is. Normal urine does not foam and foaming urine will signify leakage of protein into the urine. Proteins are injurious to the kidney and if left untreated, it could result in permanent kidney damage that would eventually need kidney transplant. Other accompanying symptoms to watch out for include passage of cold colored urine, early morning facial puffiness, especially around the eyes that result as the day goes by, and swelling of the legs. Illnesses do not just occur, the body always gives us warning signs to do the needful but most times we choose to ignore them. Eventually this will progress to a point where actions must be taken else a disastrous outcome will occur. Prevention they always say is better than cure. Prevention will save you cost, time and emotional stress that comes from being sick. And if you are in a region like Nigeria where emergency services are not so equipped, you will want to practice more of preventive medicine. I hope this video was quite helpful. Please comment, like, share my videos and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.